I have been told that uh, I have a 10 minutes uh, time frame, so I'm going to try to uh, make my talk very short. Um, but I wanted to first to mention that uh, I'm a owner of a small business, and uh, I don't know if there are many uh, small, uh, medium-sized business owners in the audience. Maybe, maybe some of you are small and medium-sized business owners. Do I see some hands there? I think um, primarily what I would like to address to uh, are some of the experiences that we had in China over the 25 years that we've been doing business in China and uh, pertaining to small and medium-sized businesses. Um, I also uh, wanted uh, to uh, explain a little bit uh, about uh, all uh, of the experiences that we had making mistakes in China, or, um, that we have made many mistakes, and that uh, over the years we've uh, learned from our, our mistakes and then uh, um, make adjustments to our strategies so that uh, we uh, continue to be doing business in China. Uh, China is our, our company's main business, is uh, roughly about 98% of our company's business in China. And uh, our business, <coughs> we are a small business, we represent um, European and North American manufacturers of industrial products, which are specialty chemicals, industrial minerals, and uh, industrial spare parts and equipment. Um, and we are uh, uh, handling the distribution, the frontline sales, the technical service and support uh, in the People's Republic of China and in the Hong Kong market. Um, and for uh, most of the 25 years, our main emphasis has been on supplying to the pulp and paper and paper converting industries in China. Uh, so we have, over the years, built up a list of regular customers. Um, and uh, we uh, warehouse, uh, and we had, uh, in 1997, also formed a company in Pudong in Shanghai called Mingyuan Chemicals, where we are um, getting a license to be able to import products into China and distribute them and sell them uh, in the local market in, uh, in the renminbi currency. And uh, during the time that we worked in China, um, most of the first uh, 15 years were very, very difficult because uh, China was having chronic shortages of uh, foreign currency. And uh, most of the purchases were central planning. So in the first um, 15 years, I had uh, mainly been traveling to Beijing. Um, but the, the business that was done um, was very highly regulated. Um, and there was very little growth. Uh, and some years the business were slower than others, but primarily China was uh, importing very, very little. Um, and uh, I think that uh, our business growth really uh, started to uh, become somewhat more significant um, say, starting about uh, the year 2000. In 2001, uh, we saw this growth coming in China. We decided that it was the right time to put in a large operation in the number one um, business and financial city in China, which is Shanghai. So we uh, invested um, in uh, a fairly substantial size office, which was opened in 2001. Uh, from 2001 until November last year, um, we had made a lot of effort in running the Shanghai Sales and Marketing and Business Office. Um, and in November of last year, we decided to move that Sales and Marketing Business Office back to Hong Kong, where our corporate office is. There are many reasons why we um, did this. Um, 
And I do not think that we have enough time to cover all the different reasons. Um, so I wanted to just to say that um, perhaps we can address them in the Q&A a little bit about some of the reasons. But uh, the short end of the uh, um, of this, this issue was that we have found this to be the right move, and uh, that uh, when we uh, uh, look back at it now, uh, roughly a year now after we moved uh, from Shanghai back to Hong Kong. Now, keeping in mind that we still keep um, we still keep the office in Shanghai, um, and we still kept about forty percent of the staffing in the office in Shanghai. But also keep in mind that uh, throughout that uh, 2001 to 2007 time frame, when we had our office in Shanghai, we were never able to hire sufficient staff to fill all of the positions that we had. So we were on a hiring campaign all throughout that uh, six years. We were never able to hire the sufficient staff that, that we wanted to have. So anyway, going back to 2007 to now one year looking back, we felt that we did the right move. I think that uh, it has addressed some of the difficulties that we encountered in China and that we were able to focus a lot more of our attention on actually uh, our business and uh, moving business forwards. Um, and I think that this was um, a correct strategy for us. Um, and. Um, I also wanted to mention that uh, we, as a Hong Kong headquarter company, has benefited greatly from um, using Hong Kong as a base for doing business with China. But we are also expanding our business, and we are looking into uh, some of the Eastern European countries, um, in the Scandinavian countries, and that uh, we did uh, a trade show in uh, Stockholm in the early part of uh, June, with uh, great help from TDC, thanks TDC for the help, and that uh, we uh, are going to be visiting uh, a trade show in uh, St. Petersburg in Russia in November, as well as visiting the, the Baltic states. And we feel that uh, there are a great deal of benefit to be had for a company to be working um, through Hong Kong uh, and harnessing the benefits of China and, um, and Asia. And um, we also had uh, uh, been asked a little bit uh, about um, the work that we do as compared to many of your business involvements in China. I know many of you had uh, done business with China, but the business that I have done had to do with selling in China and exporting European and North American products in China. And uh, this uh, had uh, actually been opposite the trend of most companies which have been buying products from China and exporting to, um, to Europe. But uh, you know, at the way that how economies are right now, I think more and more companies uh, are going to be looking at how to sell uh, into the China market. So uh, I would welcome um, any questions that you may have put it online. If you have questions or if you're contemplating on uh, starting a uh, business in China, that uh, perhaps we can uh, discuss. I can help you, and you know, maybe I can uh, help answer some questions. Thank you. <laughs>